Okay, uh, essentially I'm just going to do a quick run through of uh, what settings I use for YouTube streaming. Uh, just note, this does not work for Twitch. This is just for YouTube streaming. Okay, so um, for the stream tab, I use YouTube HLS um, service. Connect your account. Go into output. These are my streaming settings. This is the YouTube recommended maximum bitrate for 1440p 60 streams. Uh, but yeah, if you're streaming in 1080p, look look up your um, your recommended settings. I'm gonna leave a, a link to the YouTube recommended uh, settings in the description if you're interested. Um, keyframe at two, preset set it to quality. Audio, set it to 44.1 uh, kilohertz. That's the recommended. And stereo. Um, for the audio tab, I set my bitrate to 160. It's the maximum for YouTube streaming. Then we go to video. I set my 1440p, 60 FPS. Uh, this way, it uses a VP09 codec, which is uh, essentially it's better than the AVC one, which is used for 1080p streams. Advanced, set your priority to high or above normal. Play around with it. Um, and then that should be it for the OBS settings. Then go to this tab. This is the live YouTube streaming tab. I guess it's, it's literally just called stream. Uh, the way you access it is click on create and go live. Okay, additional settings. Um, enable DVR, this will save your stream at the end uh, as a video. Essentially, it's the same feature as save past streams on Twitch. Um, everything else I leave off edit and this um, you can fill out yourself it's basically a visibility if you want to do a test stream you can change it to private uh, I usually leave it on public um, which means my stream will start as soon as I press start essentially <laughs> um, game title thumbnail just gonna go through all the settings Slowly. Okay. Customize live chat. Live chat replay is on. We can send messages to anyone. This is all completely up to you. Then the way you start streaming is you go to OBS. Go to Manage Broadcasts, select the existing broadcast, click on the YouTube generated broadcast, which is the one we made now. And just make sure you're on this page when you're doing it. And click Select Broadcast and Start Streaming. And that is essentially it. Um, and then if you want to end the stream, make sure to do it through the YouTube website. Um, if you start streaming, you'll have a a button here saying end stream or end something like that click on that I will end the stream and then you'll have to end it for OBS as well uh, anyway this is it so yeah thank you for watching uh, make sure to leave a comment if you have any questions and I'll make sure to respond